tell me, and you are? I'm Ann Beal. Ann Beal. Yes, I went to Dallas Theological Seminary. My husband was a professor. Oh, okay. And, um, we have wellness clinics, so our shows are Getting Better and Living Well, and then my husband has Men Loving Well. Ooh. But we're on USA Network and USA Radio. Uh-huh. Um, I Heart, Voice America. Hey, Amen. It's, it's, it's wellness, health and wellness, on mm -hmm. but really empowering people as well. Sure. And then wellness in all areas of your life getting better. Absolutely. Oh, well. this is going to be fun. And so I try to sneak these in. Right? Yeah. And I'm getting them deleted. I can. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> I'm really, lately it's been a little tough, so I just, anyway, I'm very excited. I'm okay. Ready? So we can't, it's not Okay, thank you. Because you don't want me to start, right? I'll be here. Is the video on right there? You can see it, right? Yes. Okay, great. Hey, man. Is she going to touch you up? You good? You touching me up again? I'm just going to pull. Oh, oh, because I'm sitting I up. I my people aren't coming over here to me. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> Lean up for me. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's better? Good. Amen. All right. All right. Excited. What we doing? A pop? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. This okay, is exciting. let's get started. Welcome to the Getting Better Show. I am Ann Beal, and we are here at NRB, National Religious Broadcasters Convention, here in Grapevine, Texas. And we are so excited to get Paula to sit down with us, Dr. Price, Paula Price. Mm -hmm. And she has so much information for us. I first saw you mm -hmm. on Fox, I think, when they were interviewing you about the Tulsa Massacre. Uh, five. Um, was it Newsmax? Was it News? I think oh, it was Newsmax. Newsmax. Yes. How could I? Oh, I should not confuse those. Yes, Newsmax. Newsmax. That's awesome. Yeah. And it was so good. But you know what was? Uh, my husband's from Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and his brother lives in Tulsa, and none of them had heard of the Tulsa massacre. Yeah. Now I didn't take Oklahoma history because I'm from Little Rock, mm -hmm. but I did not understand why they wouldn't know if it was such a big deal and you had so much to say about that very passionately mm -hmm. yes and how why because biden brought this up mm -hmm. okay and i don't know why it like it was such a long time ago so mm -hmm. i was surprised by that mm -hmm. but you were very much like this is what they do i mean mm -hmm. can you first tell me a little bit more about you well i am dr paula price i have a ministry in oklahoma i am most known for the prophet's dictionary which it is it's a bestseller it's in three languages and i'm an author of more than 50 books and manuals i'm founder of price university price which is university. also yeah that is you that is me awesome. Uh huh. And also, to what you're doing, I have a success center because I do training and development in the soul of success, taking your life from distress to success. And that's just a little bit of it. That is a very good way to put things yeah. from distress to success. That's yeah. what we do at our clinics, right? I know. That is awesome. Well, okay. So Which means I have a book called 3D. What it's a that? 3D training manual that we use to help people get their life from distress to success. So you have a manual. I we have a manual. need to get that manual mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. You guys need to get that manual. So how would people reach you? DrPaulaAPrice.com. You click there and you can get a whole bunch of stuff about me. All one word, Dr. Dr. Paula Paula a. Price. Price. Dot com. com. That's good. Okay. So what do you think about my fact that my husband and his family who are from Tulsa and Oklahoma... They took Oklahoma history, and they, mm -hmm. don't, they didn't even know about it. No, they wouldn't. And I'll tell you something, a couple of reasons for that. My first thought, though, is that they didn't know about it because when a, a, a nation or a region does something that heinous, they don't want to remember it. Oh, wow. You think about the Holocaust people. You know, they don't want to remember it. There are a lot of Germans who just, like, please distance us from that so I think that might be the first point of course the second point has to do with the fact that we don't want to acknowledge it because what will that put us on the hook for yes well and I was wondering about when I was reading about it it, it gets confusing because you know in Little Rock um, I was in the movie Central High Crisis mm. oh. and it wasn't until then that I learned that all those protesters were bussed in. Yeah. They weren't from Little Rock. Exactly. I thought, oh my gosh, they were doing that in the 50s? Yes. I had no idea. And so I was wondering about that, that massacre. Mm -hmm. If they were really people from there? Well, I, I think that there were a lot of people from there. Okay. Um, but I also don't 
set aside the possibility that they were bust in. Let's look at our re- recent and tip for Black Lives Matter. And you know, if you hit the internet, do you know, Anne, that you can apply for a job as a protester? Oh yes, I've had clients. I had one client. He was making about fifty thousand a year, and I won't tell you who he worked for, but you can just go online, and he can even refer people and mm-hmm. get. That's how he was making all his money was referring people, mm-hmm. um, and he made a very good living as a protester and getting bust in different places. Yeah. Exactly. I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I know at one point I had one client tell me they were getting paid 35 an hour. Yeah. And I, I'm sure it's gone up since then. But, you know, people, and it was hurting times. So mm-hmm. it was crazy. But think about hurting times, and we're going to pay you to hurt some more. Right. Yeah. To increase the hurt. But they justify it because people should be angry that they don't have a job, right? And things like that. Yeah. Th- well, yeah. And then again, what, you know, I'm one of those people that I like to go to the root before I comment on the fruit why don't you have a job because not everybody unemployed wants to work yeah you know and i was an engineer when i got out of college Mm -hmm. uh, working for eds as a programmer Mm -hmm. and i know now today those jobs would be very hard because of the hb1 workers that can come in they bring them all in these tech companies so it's it's been hard but then there are so many jobs out there right and it is a good question but i don't i think that people can be manipulated Mm -hmm. of course and be used yeah and um so that's why i was wondering about that then Mm -hmm. but for you you are from Tulsa. No, yes. I'm not. Oh, you live in Tulsa. I live in Tulsa. Where are you from? I'm actually from New Jersey. Ah. And I was in the 60, 68 riots that were around the country. Remember, yeah. we had oh, de, um, yeah. Detroit, California, Alabama. New York, New Jersey, mm-hmm. out in the South. Right. See, I, I, that's my generation. Really? That's really interesting. Yeah. So, you but know. I've been in Tulsa since 1999. Okay. Oh, that's when I started my show, 99, yes. Living Well with Ann mm-hmm. Beal. That's cool. So in 99, you have done a lot in Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Did I it have. make you mad when he, when you know the Tulsa massacre came uh, up? Or did you think people need to know about this? How, how did you feel about it? Well, I don't know if I was as um, aware of how many people didn't know. Ah. But a massacre of any people is an We should all know. It is horrible. Right. And it shouldn't be swept away it really should not be because the soul of a particular region of a city and a state and as a result the nation was destroyed and they obliterated their faith they decimated their hope and then they violated their rights and their will to and their right to free enterprise why did they do that well you know it's interesting i was thinking about that and if i go on record i'm going to go on record to say it was envy and it was how dare, because it was that rooted racism of the time. You know, right. racism is rooted in America's formative years. Right. And it's in our formation. And so to go by, especially if you're a farmer and you're an agriculturalist, and so you're, you're trying to, you know, get pennies on the dollar, and then these post-slaves, you know, these newly free, supposedly slaves or Jim Crow citizens are doing well when in fact they shouldn't be doing well because of all the program you had about their skin color affecting their enterprise, affecting their intelligence and affecting their ability. So all of that is boiling inside of you. And so we want to take your business and if we can't take it, then we're going to destroy it. Well, you know, it's interesting because we went to Roswell on the way back from my dad's. We came through Roswell to see the UFO museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there really were um, aliens, Mm -hmm. you know, they... Oh, yeah. But they they just took their ship. They took everything. Well, what's interesting about that is that whole story is... about It's pretty horrible. Then we we went down to Sumter, Mm -hmm. Fort Sumner, which is where they took the Indians Mm -hmm. down there and the Navajos and the Apaches. They took them from their land, walked them hundreds and hundreds of miles, mm-hmm. where a lot of them died, to Fort Sumner, to this reservation. Mm. And, of course, they didn't live. A lot of them, and they, So they decided it was a failure. Sure. I mean, we read all about that. I thought, you know what? Man can just do horrible things. They can just do horrible things. They wanted the mm-hmm. land, so they just took it. Exactly. Right? And I, I think that um, when you want people's stuff and just take it. Yeah. And, and so who has stuff? I mean, a bum on the street that has a backpack has more than a bum on the street that doesn't have a backpack. So the bum with the back tra- backpack is in trouble. Yeah, because so you can just take it. Because other person is just going to yeah, take it. Yeah, so it's very relative you know? when you start doing that. But that's just common things. I mean, if you think about, and you know, if we think about Scripture, Ahab and Jezebel. I want it, we're taking it. Um, 
you know? I was reading an article um, about maybe several years back where they were talking about how African women would set up ministries and the men would just take it and put them out. Or they'd set up businesses and they'd do it. So we can't make it race. We are making it race because it's convenient. Right. But that's it's political convenience, right? Mm -hmm. It is horrible. It is horrible. And, and for me, I know that, you know, when I was in France, one of the things I noticed, I had been to France many times, but the, in 2000, right after 9-11 when I went mm -hmm. to France, everybody was so friendly. They were just glad we were there. But there were Muslim women everywhere on the street. Mm -hmm. They had just been put out. Yeah. And every, all, I was giving money away a lot. My husband mm -hmm. stopped giving money away. I'm like, oh, my gosh, these women uh, are no on the life. street barefoot. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't have anything. And so, yeah, the truth is, you know, well, let's not talk about the truth, right? Let's no, no. just manipulate the population. It, well, and remember Afghanistan? Yeah. All of those highly educated, highly trained and successful women, and they were all the way were all put back into decades and decades of oppression took their businesses took their home see this is not a race thing this is a human issue a yeah. human problem wanting what isn't yours and taking it because the strong survive yes like and it's okay if the weak die it's interesting because in Hollywood they were saying that you know the golden rule is he who has gold rules mm -hmm. right and but isn't it the same thing here yeah. And, 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 and these are all laws and all uh, policies and as well as customs that actually underpin earthly existence. That was what, that's the whole purpose of the church. That was the whole purpose of the cross, that, that God could dislodge that and then inseminate the world with a population who would fix it for him. Yes, because it's very much like Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was persecuted. And the establishment, mm -hmm. right? The establishment with the Romans and the Pharisees, um, Sadducees. I mean, they killed him. Yes, they They did. persecuted and killed him and lied and fake news. They did everything, right? Everything is today. I know. And, <laughs> it could and be today's headlines. I think so. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how now when you read through Psalms, how mm -hmm. much they apply. Yes. Right? And you read through the New Testament, the, the movie that's gonna that Tim Mahoney is mm -hmm. launching, uh, what is it, the Times of Fire, the, about the seven churches and the persecution mm -hmm. and okay. the things like that so we can understand our faith better and understand how we're supposed to be living for the church. Absolutely. And um, wow. But what we don't understand, this is my, my, one of my major hot buttons, is that God begot us again into the image and likeness of his son to fix earth's problems, not to benefit from them not to siphon them off he it's kind of i always tell my 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 students i said but god expects us to go into the family business and to save the business right save the business yes that's wonderful mm -hmm. wow i am so excited that you you're here oh, and you've done. probably had a wonderful day here i <laughs> did i've been busy it's been, I've, been been busy? Met, I've met amazing people and had a chance to share a lot of thoughts and i'm thankful have you met dr Herm Hormos Shariat from Iran. Not yet. Well, he has a book called the Iran Awakening. Mm -hmm. um, the Great Iran, the Great Awakening, the Great Iran Awakening. Anyway, he has been, you know, uh, leading Muslims to Christ for a long time. Mm -hmm. He was a Muslim, but he shared that Iran is no longer a Muslim nation. Yeah. Well, and who knew that? Well, you know, I the only reason I found it out is because. Um, who is it? The the daughter that said that was was trying to say that the election was rigged. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, what is it? Her name? The guy who was killed. I can't even think of her name. Forgive me, you all. But some of you all can hit it on Google so we don't look like we forgot it all. <laughs> but but she when she started fighting for Trump, and I thought, wait a minute, that's new. Yeah. And we started looking into that. So yes, that's not. I think it's a shock to hear it stated that succinctly. I, I was. He said th they did all this research and that out of 50,000 people, a third were, um, he said 32% were actually believed, believed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as Muslims. The other 30% weren't sure. They were more atheist, mm -hmm. agnostic. They just didn't know. And then the other third were mm -hmm. Christians. Wow. And so it's a third, a third, a third and, and a third, third. But you would never know that from no. the media, right? No. And so it's so fascinating that when you really open your eyes to everything that's really mm -hmm. going on, and don't let the media lead you and mislead you, right? Well, when we realize that the media does not, A, doesn't 
care about the United States of America, B, doesn't consider themselves Americans, right. and C, have abdicated their founding purpose and principles, yeah, you really can't take what they say at face value any longer. Well, and when you make money off of it, right, yep. like so for-profit mm-hmm. media, right, yeah. like so, you know, I... If you think of for-profit hospitals now, have they've changed? Yeah. For-profit doctors, for-profit, for-profit prisoners, everything, prisons for-profit. even. Yes, okay. prisoners. Yeah. So if they're just going for profit, mm-hmm. then why are they are they going to really just share the news? Or are they mm-hmm. going to share news that profits them? Well, care is secondary, May, at best secondary. I probably would think care is third or fourth, but you know, again. And then knowing what, why people are doing what they're doing. Why are these institutions pushing against us as a nation? What is it that they want to come out of all of this abuse, all of this bullying, and all of these atrocities? Mm-hmm. We, as American people, have got, realized that yesterday is no more. You know, the new normal is not just their new normal. We yeah. have a new normal to shape as well. Right. And we need to start shaping it. Go, girl. Thank you so <laughs> much for being here and Surprise. just taking time out of your busy, crazy convention times. Oh, I'm loving it, though. Thank you. And um, I just, you have to come back to the Getting Better show. I will do it. Just and contact me. I will. We will, will get it done. I'll come see my brother and I'll interview up there. There you go. There you go. And then Tulsa. I'll have you on my, now my show is nowhere near as big as yours, but oh. I do have a show where I have people who are dedicated to soul health and healing. I love for my audience to hear from what them. What is your show? It's well, actually it's every Thursday. I have two shows actually. One is a talk show, Taking It On with Paul, okay. um, Paula Price, and the second one every Thursday I do, um, believe it or not, the Jesus and Paula show, the starring Jesus, Jesus and Paula Christ show. and Paula Price. Wow, <laughs> that's a really cool name. Well, yes. thank you. I look forward to that. And you guys, check that out. Yes, right? thank and you. Just, uh, just, I've loved it. Thank you. And just remember, everyone, <laughs> Dr. Paula A. Price dot com yes, right right and tell her shows again the television oh, oh, jesus and paula show which is um every week on facebook and the, i'm on golden eagle broadcasting the paula price show taking it on with paula price taking it on with paula price and guess remember guys keep getting better yes thank you. oh thank you so much i enjoyed it it was such a pleasure And we fit it right in there, too, didn't we? Yes. Thank you.